Dave McDaniel here with Rick Kersbergen from the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. And in today's instructional video, we are going to demonstrate how to remove your waste greenhouse plastic and recycle it in the university's new greenhouse plastic recycling pilot program. So before we get started, Rick, can you give us some highlights about the, the new program? Sure, Dave, thank you. So this is a free program and it's a pilot program to demonstrate uh, some recycling methods for plastic that may have some value in agricultural production. And this program is being funded through a waste diversion grant from the Maine Department of Environmental Protection. And this program is only going to be able to accept LDPE number four plastic. Most of the plastic that is used on greenhouses is a good example of that type of plastic. We can also accept white and clear LDPE number four plastic. So those are the requirements. And also, the plastic needs to be relatively clean and dry to be recycled. We're doing this with some volunteer help from many sites across the state. We have 16 different sites where growers can drop off their plastic. These are all volunteer sites. Some of them are extension offices, some of them are farms, and some of them are nurseries. So it's important to realize that these are volunteering their location for these drop-off sites. So it's critical that we follow all label directions in terms of how to drop it off, how to process that plastic, also make sure that the site is maintained in a clean and orderly fashion. Rick, two questions. Sure. Is there any charge for this program? No, this is a free program. And again, it's being subsidized by a waste diversion grant from the Maine Department of Environmental Protection. So it allows us to see what we can potentially recycle here in the state of Maine for agricultural plastics. Second question, can somebody from out of state participate? No, we're trying to keep this as a Maine program at this so point. So Mainers only, any grower or any farmer is eligible free of charge. Correct. Sounds like a great program. I hope it will be. As we get started, um, we call this a greenhouse plastic uh, recycling uh, program, but it's any agricultural structure covered with greenhouse plastic. Um, so in Maine, we have a lot of structures we call high tunnels. High tunnels are unheated greenhouses. We also have heated greenhouses. We also have caterpillar or low tunnels. All those structures, when the plastic comes off, the plastic is eligible for our program. So are we ready to get started? I'd love to. Okay, so the first step in recycling your greenhouse plastic is you need to go to our website and read all of the instructions. Really important. When we're all done, everything has to be nice and neat and standardized across everybody turning in the plastic. So what you're gonna need for tools, everyone is gonna need a standard wooden pallet. These are 48 inches by 40 inches. Just about every farm has these lying around using them for everything, but you're going to need a wooden pallet. This is going to be your template that you're going to use to measure the plastic and fold it to this size. You're going to need your utility knife to cut off the plastic. You're going to need a calculator because we're going to be doing some very simple math. And then the last thing you're going to need is a permanent marker or sharpie because you're going to label uh, the plastic with your name in the bundle numbers. So to get started, um, Rick, how big is your um, greenhouse? We're going to take the plastic off. From. It is 48 feet long by 23 feet wide. Okay, so we're going to do some simple math, and what we're going to do is we, we need to get the square footage of the plastic and the weight of the plastic. So it is uh, 48 feet long. I'm going to multiply that by 23 feet wide. And now we have to account for the curvature of your greenhouse for the square footage. So we have a, a, a constant that we're going to use, which is 1.5. So we're multiplying it by that also. So 48 times 23 feet times 1.5. And that gives us the square footage of your plastic is 1,656 feet. Now, do you have a uh, single or double plastic? These are single layer plastic on this high Single tunnel. layer, okay. So if it was a double layer plastic, we would multiply this number by two, because we'd be taking off two layers of plastic. But this is a single layer. So then the last thing we need to do is get the weight of the plastic. So we take your 1,656 square feet, and I'm gonna multiply that by the weight per square foot. And we give that to you on our website. So for a standard greenhouse plastic, it's 0.04 pounds per square foot. So your plastic that we're going to take off today is going to weigh about 66 pounds, which is just about perfect for what we're going to be doing. And then we need each bundle to weigh about 50, 60 pounds, 66 is probably okay. Um, and the reason for that is every site has to have the plastic stacked up nice and neat. So we want 
all the plastic that people turn in to be the same dimension. And we want the weight not to be too heavy because we're going to be handling these by hand, especially at the end of the program when we go to bale the, the plastic and get it ready for recycling. So Dave, I have a question for you. Yes, go ahead, Rick. So if our bundles are less than that 55 or 60 pounds, can we have multiple bundles that are smaller? Good question. Yes, you can have multiple small bundles. Don't make them smaller than the dimension of, of this pallet. Um, it's really key if you think ahead to all the other people turning in their plastic to the same drop-off site, and these are all self-serve, all the plastic is going to be piled up. So we want these bundles to be square and flat. So if you have small ones, the thing will start to tip over. So everybody's bundles are going to be the same size, but they can weigh less. They can weigh a little bit more. We're trying to get them about 50 pounds so that we can, we can handle them at the end. So really the weight limit is the maximum, that we can have smaller as long as we fit the dimensions of the pallet. Correct. Thank you. We are going to need to cut this part of the plastic off and not use it. So we're going to cut our plastic right about there and have to discard this little bit of very, very dirty contaminated plastic at the bottom. And that keeps mostly clean, good plastic for us to recycle. Okay, so we have our three bundles of plastic. We needed at least uh, one and a half. We have one nice big one and two small ones. So the last thing we need to do with our plastic is label it with our name and the bundle number. So I'm gonna write Kersbergen, and this is one of three. So we have our greenhouse plastic off of the greenhouse. We have it folded into a bundle the size of a wooden pallet. The last two steps we need to do are, first, go back to our website, and there's a locator map where you can pick the closest convenient drop-off site. Uh, choose the one you're interested in, and then read the individual instructions. Make sure um, you know when the site is open, and there'll actually be a, a Google map. It'll take you right there to the location. And then the very last step is on our website again, you need to do a very short, quick online registration. And what you'll do is you'll enter in basic information like uh, your contact information, how many bundles in the location you're dropping it off. So then you just go to the, the site you wanna drop it off at, follow the instructions there, and you're all done. So thank you very much for uh, viewing today's uh, instructional video, and we hope you get out there and recycle your greenhouse plastic soon. Thanks a lot.